Kia ora cousins, Jimmy Jackson on Iwi, back at it. As you can see, I've made my way down to Rotorua, the land of the, the Rotorua. The reason why we came to Rotorua is to learn about the Iwi that's from here. And that Iwi is, is, what is it? Tiarua, bro, Tiarua. Tiarua, see, that's why I said he's useful. But we are here to meet the one and only everybody's uncle, Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim, here we come. Kia ora team. Jimmy Jackson, kia ora brother. Kia ora welcome. Ora, my no mai, haere mai. No so, mai, welcome to the village. This was the original Rotorua. It's our uh, village here of Ngati Whakaue. What are you doing here, man? What brings you to town? I'm here to find out about Te Arawa, bro. So, Te Arawa. Yeah. The original name I understand for Te Arawa was called Oho Mai Rangi, coming from the sky. It was one of these stories where the god saw this beautiful, beautiful woman. Her name yeah. was Te Kurai Monua. The gods and the spirits were just so taken by her beauty. So they thought, well, she must bear a godly child. Next minute, she heard whispering in her ear saying, if it is born a boy, call him Oho Mairangi, come from the sky. So we took the name from that uh, godly being. And many generations, that eventually led to our chief of the Te Arawa Waka called Tama Te Kapua. And Tama was, uh, must have been quite a handsome bloke because uh, there are many of our stories in history to say that, uh, uh, got all the girls? Yeah, I think so. Straight yeah. up? Put it just like that. Oh, just, just put, put it straight up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. all the girls. Sometimes he stole a few of them. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so, um, so I guess in essence what I'm saying is that a lot of you people or these other people, they all come from Darwin's theory, from the monkeys, but we come from the gods. So I guess that's the only difference I can think of. <laughs> I didn't come from a monkey. Hey. <laughs> well, that's what it's proven already. The gods thought she was so beautiful, so we're probably the best looking tribe around <laughs> as well. Because we've got that in our uh, whakapapa as well. But I think uh, some of that beauty's worn off over the generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly, slightly. Slightly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I've got a bit of that in me, eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Later on, when our uh, things happened here in New Zealand in Aotearoa, our tohunga went back to Hawaii. And I think it was that moment that they changed the name to remember our waka uh, from Oho Mairangi to Te Arawa. I think oh, that, that. that might have been the occasion. Or it may have been also, there's another version of when we actually came down from uh, the islands of Tahiti. So Te Arawa Big Mouth. Well. Does that uh, mean like, well, uh, like, let's clear it up, bro. Let's uh, just clear it up, bro. You guys talk heaps Oh, hey. you guys got a big mouth? <laughs> You're referring to this saying called Te Arawa Mangai Nui. Yeah, which, which means no, no, it doesn't, Te Arawa Big Mouth. No, no, it doesn't mean that at all. Let, let me put you on the straight and narrow. Mangai Nui actually means uh, loquacious. They can find the appropriate words to express themselves. So it means what a wonderful, loquacious, eloquent speaker. That's where, that's where everyone gets oh. it a little bit mixed up. But sometimes we like to talk it up a little bit. <laughs> but that might be the Morrison. That might yeah, might be the other one. That's the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it, my bro. All good, man. Cheers. Take care, sir. All do. Too much, Tim. Or should I say, oh, take the must? Nah. Too much, bro. I must say, you're probably one of the most famous fellas I've ever met. And I'm probably one of the most famous fellas you've ever met. But that's not what it's about. It's about you taking time out of your day to teach me. I know you wanted to meet me anyway, but to teach me about Tiarua. And I must say, I've loved what I've learnt about it. Yes, you guys have big mouths, but that's because you know how to have a good laugh. You know what to say at the right time. Well spoken, and who doesn't talk a bit of tickle here and there? I must say too much Tim, too much Tiarua, and too much Rotorua. Cheche.